Hey everybody, Bumbleborg here, coming at you with a playthrough of Dragon's Dogma 2. And even though there are no Roman numerals, and when I saw this <laughs> title screen and, and very briefly panicked that I somehow purchased the first game again, uh, this is in fact the sequel. Maybe they're waiting for an, an especially epic moment to drop those, those Roman numerals in there. But... Um, yeah, way back in the day, fans of the channel may remember my playthrough of Dragon's Dogma the First, where I had uh, an Arisen who was uh, an octogenarian named Harold and took the, the world by storm with his romance of the court jester. So hopefully we'll get up to some fun shenanigans with this game. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, it's good. I was gonna say I can read out. I can make out like some of those words. I mean, I don't even like speak, you know, that language. But thank you for throwing me a bone game with the subtitles. As our favorite man suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long. Mm, the guy on the left, his arms crossed. Yours. Body language shows he's not it buying it. Not been for oh. At last, he's listening. He's opening up. Bell has told on the age of the console. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. <laughs> Is it me? My word. Such an inspiring visage. Ooh. Your Majesty shall have actually, no. Uh, Oh, everyone's digging it. It has to be my guy. <laughs> oh boy. Even arms folded guy gives his nod of approval. My man. Can I just play as that dude? <laughs> All right, well, it seems like it's gonna be me. Uh, wasn't the proportions of the guy that I made in the character creation, uh, Behold, but... Before you sit the rightful inheritor of the dragon throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Behold or rejoice. Fortune has delivered us our savior at last. At last! Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our allegiance reign when they are end. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! Long live the sovereign! Oh shit. <laughs> thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, Oh man, I'm so fucked up and I haven't even touched my wine yet. Cast aside oh, I spilled it. <laughs> thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Oh no, is this gonna be me? 
Am I not in, in, am I not in fact a king but a prisoner? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if they would do this where, like, Is in the, you? um... No? Mm, it is hard to say. Uh, tutorial of Dragon's Dogma the first, uh, they let you go through kind of like a little tutorial section before customizing your guy, but I, I think it's looking like he is gonna let you customize right from the jump. The pawn I'm looking, are you the one then? I'm sorry, I'm sorry! You. You've got an arrogant look about you. Aha, uh -huh. I thought I Okay, but I do have you. a custom guy that I want to play as. Yes. I had recently, uh, anyone who'd, who'd watched my recent uh, character creator video, uh, this is not the guy that I made, who is kind of a, ended up being a, a warped uh, version of Jason Alexander. Um, this is um, gonna be, uh, I guess, canonically, my, my Risen's brother from, from the first one, uh, instead of Harold. It's gonna be uh, Lester. I started thinking of an old, old person-sounding name, and uh, remembered that the um, pawn that I created to go like assist this dude was named Chester because he's kind of like Chester the cheetah because I made him like a tiger person or cheetah person. So it's gonna be Lester and Chester here to uh, save the day, and um, I, I basically just meant with. Uh, I went with like just as as skinny and frail uh, and as much of a beanpole as I could make him. So look upon my works, ye mighty in despair. We uh, are going to be journeying with Lester, I think. Because, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> 20, um, the, the years have not been kind to poor Lester. I was able to give him the ironic nickname or moniker of young, good old young Lester, the 20 year old. Uh, but no, he can drink. Oh, whoa. Uh, whoa, I was not expecting that. He's, uh, sure. He's just short of a, of a thousand years old. Why not? I feel like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Oh, a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap is only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. It's interesting, as if we're if we're playing as a pawn instead There's of an arisen. There's not different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? <laughs> Worry not, vessel. Three days here. But he is a 999-year-old. I pray for death. I don't fear it. Come along, you feckless dullards. Mm, shoulder pains, huh? Oh, interesting. Uh, I don't think I got any kind of like pre-order bonuses. Yeah, I was a little bummed. I I um cranked up as much as like of the wrinkles on him as I could, but I couldn't get him to be like as wrinkly and uh, and decrepit as I would have liked. But Sweet, dear, uh, sorry to be leaving you. Naught I can do but wait for death to claim me. Well, you know, give it a few centuries. Excuse you, buddy. Uh, give it a few centuries and, um... Your place, you know, maybe you'll change your tune. Here, can I run? Maybe not quite yet. Yeah, I had thought about playing as the, uh... Jason character that I made where he was like really buff body and uh, really really skinny legs and like with eyes clo <laughs> eyes closed and stuff which which did sound funny but um, he was just a little too wonky I think for my liking Lady. 
worry about. Get a move on. Is that how you treat your seniors and your elders? I'm really surprised it let me crank up his age to such an extreme. I was going to have him be, um, rather than octogenarian, which is like if you're in your 80s, a nonagenarian, which is if you're in your, your 90s. You. Pray, <gasps> Rook! Do not over -exert oh, my man, Rook. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. I'm assuming this is supposed to be the same Rook uh, from the first game. You ought not anger the overseer. I think he's, uh, you know, it's been, you know, more than a decade since I played, but I think he's like one of the first pawns that are given to you. Just kind of like a default pawn. Well, hey! You know, this 900-year-old is uh, putting you to shame. He's he's keeping up with you, Rook. You should you should be a little a little embarrassed. Uh, but let's. I know it wants me to go there, but let's let's take a little peeky poo at what's over here. Can I just leave? Uh, please, I don't want this life. I don't want this life for myself. Oh, okay. All right, Rook. I'm sorry. I do not understand how it is they compel us. There is no arisen among the overseers. Hmm. I don't remember how I felt about Rook in the first game. From I do vaguely recall like throwing him off a cliff <laughs> at one point. So I feel like uh, maybe it was kind of a bit of a, like a love-hate relationship. Time for you to get to work. Working this poor old man to the bone. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay, and what are you doing? Are you helping, or...? You're just gonna... Levitate a little bit off the ground a little bit? Just chill casually? All right. Put this nearly thousand-year-old man to work. Don't help or anything. Can you believe that guy? Can you believe this piece of shit? He knows. He knows what I'm talking about. Whoa, amazing core strength. Uh, for... <laughs> for Lester here. I do wonder, though, did he... Did he lift with his... Is he lifting with his legs? Uh, just kind of shot into his arm, so... Uh, inconclusive at the moment. Can I throw this at him? Here's a freaking ball to your piece of shit. A job well done. Now the next step is to... What, get your laundry? What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Oops, uh... Yeah, you think? I don't know. I don't know, gang. Uh, Rook's already... Rook's already getting on my nerves a little bit. I'm starting to think I... I'm starting to remember why I threw him off a cliff in the last game. Ooh, and... Got a smoke show here. That last boulder, we we moved too many boulders. We woke it up. We dug too deep. You fool. Embarrassing. Get me out of here now. I know it must be done. So I believe in the last game, I played Harold as a um, uh, as an archer, and I, I was thinking for this one, I wanted to go with more kind of like a martial, like melee-based one. Now I've got onslaught. Looks like I've got something impale. Oh, yeah, right in the butt. Ooh. Can I climb too? This. Whoa. Whoa! Shields offer welcome protection for attacks. I'd like to give you a little kiss, if you don't mind, my lady. 
Just a little kiss. Oh, okay, my stamina. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything I can throw around? I can throw, oops. Oh, oops, throw them with the right button. Take that, you didn't like a wooden barrel, did you? All right, well, I guess enough kind of messing around. I wonder what would happen. I'm not gonna do it, but I, I wonder what would happen when I um, if I like got caught in its if it's in its gaze, if I would like turn to stone actually. All right, here we go. Here we go. Gotcha again. Oh. It sensed I was getting too close for a, a smooch. It'd be too too hot to handle. And everyone's just immediately calm, even though the thing's still there. <laughs> well, the fighting music died down, so that means we can just get a breather. You all feed while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. I wasn't some worthless pawn like Rook here. God, son, it. The accursed creature escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! <laughs> we need that extremely old man to keep lifting this boulders. It? It's the only way all of this is gonna work. Oh, okay. Let us flee. Well, wait, what if I, what if I don't want to flee? Let's see. Defend. Oops. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I might have bitten off more than I could chew. Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, no! No, oh, you jerk! Oh. <laughs> um. Well, and that's it. Thanks for watching this... A uh, very short playthrough. Wow, I didn't realize the game uh, ended that way. Such a short game. I can't believe I paid like 70 bucks for it. Let us flee. Oops, let's just do this uh, for the first time. Um... I think Lester's body is like so bare bones and thin the the breeze will just gently carry him down it's fine no one could survive a fall from this height not even a fall mm, what about an arisen what about a griffin hmm? don't just stand there shoot it down bye bye Uh, two two good buds just riding a griffin together. Could there be anything more peaceful than that? And still no Roman numerals. What the heck, Dragon Sagma two? What are you waiting for? This also seems very unnecessary. Could have just could have just not flown right up to him. But okay. I'm not the griffin here, you know? Who, who am I to, to question or to judge? I hope these intro 
credits are just going to be the griffin continuing to like dive bomb random groups of people. Yes, do it, do it, and just like freak them, freak them out. <laughs> Holy shit, why did it do that? That was nuts. You should have absorbed the blow. You're a worthless pawn, after all. It was a pretty good shot, though. I gotta, I gotta admit. But still, Rook, you're really, really slacking off, dude. When I thought I might have been a pawn, I was like all for. Uh, all for pawn rights and everything. But now that I know that I am in fact am in fact an arisen, um, yeah, you guys are are all fodder to me again. So I don't make the rules. Oh, if I was a thousand, I don't think I would have survived that. Oh my God. <laughs> Keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me. So like a kraken? But I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Eesh. That's pretty grisly. I, I'm glad he wasn't like screaming or anything during that, because I. All right. What happened here? That, uh, nothing, nothing. I did, uh, a man didn't, uh, <laughs> um, just melt into the water. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? No. It is a wonder you survived. Okay, he doesn't care. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Well, it's a story that spans 999 years, so I hope you're ready to uh, listen for a while. Yeah, that was... I don't know. Rook seemed very chill about it, but that seemed pretty gruesome. Um, my god. Yeah, really glad he did, didn't sound like he was in super pain for that, because it was uh, quite quite morbid. This will be a right mess to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cavern round here? Oh, I'm sorry. Is my dead griffin friend an inconvenience to you, you son of a bitch? Huh? Huh? Maybe you take a big spear to the chest and see how you do, huh? See what kind of mess you make. I did read... Uh, I'm curious. I don't know if it'll, like... I get like a warning if I go too far. I saw some like article about like how to cross water or like how to. Oh, okay. Debilitations. Oh, uh oh, okay. So yes, a little tutorial. Oh, as if we need to be reminded of this horror. Uh, okay, so pawns are forfeit. Sheesh. I'm sorry. Whoa. I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sighting. Hmm. It is said that the arrival of the sovereign portends an age of peace, yet only trouble has followed. What does it all mean? I had thought being in the border watch would make for easy work. The wind's beginning to blow in a fell direction. Oh, okay. Sorry. Your place is to be. That's okay. That's okay. I'll just get my salubrious dra draft. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from? Anyway, I've never heard of such a place. 
There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay. I mean, we weren't flagging the Griffin for that long. since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Uh, I could, but I would like some green warish, please. Right, if blink strike, is that like a little like teleport? Buy the cure thingy, or... have a bit of green oh, okay, just kind of like a lunge. When one of the fiends come up, best guard or dodge, and she'll be sore on the morrow. Ah! Well, how do I dodge? We'll give you an advantage against their. All right. Oops. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. Is that that? Oh, I think he banged his shield. I was like, was he shooting a gun? So seize your chance to land one. Them. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Nah, I don't mind uh, some apples. <laughs> if you're not squeamish about picking up ugh, apples, all I know for sure is that is a beast ever more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable hmm. state of the village of Mel to see that. We can't hope that the sovereign will rid us of its airlock. Uh, hold that thought. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. There's eggs! Okay, well... Fine. Smashing eggs? Yeah, I know, they're pretty big. When the dragon rears its ugly head, Oops, damn it. Oh! Oh, my health. I'm not! I'm trying to block with my shield! Alright, Justin with two ends, we got this. Just hit him in the back. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, you can pick them up. Lester level two! Just lots of gold in these trash piles here. Uh, I don't know who's throwing out like. Where are you going? Two to three hundred gold at a, a time, but. Justin, have you heard my. Uh, have you ever met my friend Rook? Or a uh, friend might be a little. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna scoop you. I'm gonna scoop you, Justin. I got you. Yeah, friend might be pushing it. Rook's not. Uh, we're not that close, actually. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then, no. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. I mean, this kind of seems creepy, but I'm going to go with it. You stands a Riftstone. Not really feeling her whole vibe. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Whoa, it's beautiful. Yeah. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. His name is Chester Cheetah, and he is a mascot for Cheetos. And... Yes. And, and he's a mage. With the moniker Claw. Oh, sorry, Rook. Did you think it was going to be you? 
This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, That's oh, great, but did you bring any Cheetos? summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. You're what? free to do whatever I no like, eh? You say. I'm gonna scoop you. Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Can I at least get some nicer clothes, please? Whoa, wait, don't push, dude. Chester, it's great to see you. Uh, you know what this means, though. Scooping time! What kind of madness is this? Yes, just like we used to do when I was 899. Oh, shit. He got really hurt from that. I was just... I was just clowning around, man. We're cool. Uh, are these other pawns I can... Or would I have to go here? Okay, yes. Yeah, I have it so it should be set to like online. Oh, are these... Uh, okay. Uh, specialization quest, pawn badge, username. Hmm, I'm looking for like an archer. Okay, we'll go with... Uh, I'll go with orange here. Quest guide, pawn quest. I've a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Okay, coming on a little, coming coming in a little hot there. Uh, but sure. Let us work together to honor the Arisen's trust. I'm looking for like a just a nice chill time. I'm sure you're great at what you do. It's too much for my blood. Uh, goon here. Are you certain you're happy to have me along? Sure, yeah, as long as you're, um, again, looking for just a, a good I chill time, my man. You in a scrape. All right. All right, well, we've got our team. We've got Chester, Goon, Orange, and Lester. And, uh, yeah. These two cat folk clearly conspiring. <laughs> Chester looping him in on how I, uh, uh, frequently throw him off cliffs. It's just something that runs in the family, just something we do. Now, if I take this scrag of beast, will anybody be mad? And this ripened hush, but no. Uh, let me see. This seemed like it'd be important. Knees knocking. Now let's... Sir, how can I be definitely didn't want to keep any knee knocking to yourself. Oh, okay. Oh. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow. That's very kind, thank My you. My pa always used to say... There's not a good night's sleep can't fix. Do you have any not nicer clothes for me, please? Afraid, I'll take literally anything than these rags. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. 
No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Aye, being armed is better than being. You should stop by the inn oh, in Melbourne okay. if you get the chance. No hard feelings. I have no issue falling asleep, even at this time of day. Oh no, Orange. You really need to relax. Got a real uh, type A pawn. Never for a moment did I doubt you'd go stronger someday. Having said that, it is quite a relief. They do say good things come to those who wait. Leveled up just by sleeping. Great. Look, I see you recognize Ooh. my worth arisen. I suppose I should consider myself honored to serve. Uh, no, thank you. Oof. <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> that was embarrassing for her. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up here. I'll uh, have to go uh, scout around the rest of this camp. Ooh, this guy had, does have a good look to him. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. Do, again, do you have any clothes? That's all I really want. Hmm. Pleasure doing business with you. Well, it's too bad you're not a pawn, because I do like no, your look it takes here. Two to make a sale, and this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. That's right, Orange. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch. You tell him, roast him, Orange, roast him. Go off on him, Orange. Your stuff sucked. Actually, I was kind of interested. He had a ring where it's like you can kind of slightly improve your encumbrance. It seemed. But it costs about like 6,500 gold, which is crazy, so. Go off, Orange, go off. Anyway, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this sesh. Just gonna carry my Manchester around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to money. Ooh, ooh, controller's vibrating, he's pissed. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dude, I'm sorry. Hug it out, man, hug it out. Um, yeah, looking forward to <laughs> many more fun hijinks to come. Oh god, right in the fire. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye!